But as I was driving, he tried to tell me. And when I stopped at a gas station to put gas in my car, he parked up top. I went closer to him and I told him, if you have something to say, come say it to my face. In it, he tried to attack me physically. And you'll see the altercation. And, and even though I punched him and he was too cowardly to fight me like a man, he... This is clearly a road rage incident. And both the stabber and Sheikh Uthman ibn Farooq, who threw the first punch, equally guilty. Sheikh Uthman ibn Farooq is trying to play a victim card and is trying to relate this road rage incident to his preaching at Balboa Park, which has nothing to do with this road rage incident. According to the video message of Sheikh Uthman ibn Farooq, police is doing investigation. And Sheikh Uthman ibn Farooq has accused this person of stabbing. If this is true, this person should be arrested. But my question to the police and my request to the police is to check the background of Sheikh Uthman ibn Farooq, who threw the first punch. Does Sheikh Uthman ibn Farooq has some history of engaging in physical abusive things, threatening people, bullying people, and trying to be physical with the people and threatening them with the slap and punches. If this is true and Sheikh Uthman ibn Farooq has threw the first punch, then Sheikh Uthman ibn Farooq is equally guilty, is equally responsible, is equally accusable in this road rage incident. This person called Sheikh Uthman ibn Farooq a terrorist. But check the mental level of Sheikh Uthman ibn Farooq. Instead of proving this person wrong, how Sheikh Uthman ibn Farooq is proving that he is very peaceful, he came out of his car, Sheikh Uthman ibn Farooq, and according to his own statement, which he has given in his video message, Sheikh Uthman ibn Farooq, through the first punch. So imagine the mental level, think about the mental level of Sheikh Uthman ibn Farooq. A person is calling him terrorist, violent, aggressive, and Sheikh Uthman ibn Farooq, how he is proving him wrong by throwing a punch. Very peaceful. Whatever you want, we're not stopping that one. <laughs> Uthman ibn Farooq has long history of lying. He write a letter to himself, a threatening letter, and then instead of giving it to police as a proof, as an evidence, he spoiled the evidence. He destroyed the evidence. He altered the evidence so that police may not reach the person who he was himself. The benefit of of destroying the evidence, the, that benefit is going to Sheikh Uthman ibn Farooq. So this kind of person is not reliable, is not trustworthy. Jackson, right? Do you know you're trying to mess with us? We, we, we ain't some foreigners out here. You, you feel me? All right, take a Quran if you want, but next time you try to make a joke, I'll knock you out. You feel me? Got it. Police officers check that. Sheikh Uthman ibn Farooq needs a treatment in mental hospital. Just check that. A teenage young boy, he made some joke and he wants to knock him out. This kind of person is Sheikh Uthman ibn Farooq. Violent, aggressive, wild, and uh, who he is always ready to engage in physical fight. 
Christian preacher, I, I was, I was uh, 16, 16, I was still big, right? I went to a church, the Christian preacher, he was telling me, he says, Jesus said, turn the other cheek. If somebody slaps you, don't slap him back, turn the other cheek. I told him, I want to slap you. Right? I got up, I was young, kind of local, right? I went to slap him. He, oh, the people, got, why? I condemn this road rage incident. I condemn that person whom Sheikh Uthman ibn Farooq is blaming of stabbing. I condemn Sheikh Uthman ibn Farooq and the behavior of Sheikh Uthman ibn Farooq, who is always ready to punch other people, who is always ready to slap Christian preachers, Christian pastor, priest. And even I have heard him saying, I didn't find that clip, but I have heard him saying he want to slap the Pope. So this kind of person needs some mental medical treatment and attention. This information, my video, if this is helpful for police to investigate the matter, to check the background of Sheikh Uthman ibn Farooq, what he is claiming about himself. Please check his background from since his school and you are going to find what kind of person is this for me i condemn this road rage incident this is a road rage incident and there is nothing to relate it to any kind of preaching or any kind of faith or religion but he is trying to play a victim card and trying to relate it to his faith and religion so i condemn both of them in my view, this is my view, Sheikh Uthman ibn Farooq is equally responsible, accusable and guilty in this road rage incident. And police should investigate this matter and should brought both of them to justice. That is my request to police officers.